We're going to use the TI-83 or 84 calculator here to answer a probability question, a binomial probability question. Now you know you have a binomial probability question when the problem gives you three important pieces of information. You'll always be given a number of trials, that's n. That's the number of times you're um, doing an experiment. You'll also be given the probability of success on a single trial. So if you did that experiment one time, what would be the probability of success? And you'd also be given, in a binomial probability question, you'd be asked for the number of successes. Now here's an example of a binomial probability question. Research has shown that three out of five people who take a particular weight loss supplement lose weight. You and your five friends try the supplement. What is the probability that exactly three of you lose weight or at least four of you lose weight? Well, part A, we have a number of trials N is the number of people who are trying to lose weight, the number of people who are taking the supplement here. And since you and your five friends are trying the supplement, that equals six people. So N is six. P, the probability of success on a single trial. This should be interpreted as the probability that if one person took the supplement, the probability of them losing weight. And that's what the research shows uh, the research uh, shows us that 3 out of 5 people take the supplement, lose weight, so that is our value for P, 3 out of 5. And that's equivalent to 0.6. And when you use your calculator to find this probability, you can either use 3 over 5 or you can use 0.6. The last part of a binomial probability question is the number of successes. And in this part, part A, we're asked for exactly three people losing weight, so the number of successes out of the six trials, the number of successes is three. So now we go to our calculator with these three values in mind. N is six, P is 0 0.6, and S is three. So we find the binomial probability function. Second, DISTR. We're going to scroll down to A. And by the way, the alternative to using this function would be to use the binomial probability formula n c s p to the s q to the n minus s. Uh, this is just a little bit easier. So letter A is binom PDF, and we're going to put in the three values n, 0.6, p, I'm sorry, n is 6, p is 0.6 and S is 3, exactly 3 people losing weight. So we have the number of trials, 6. The probability of success on a single trial is 0.6. That's the probability that if one person took this supplement, what's the chance of them losing weight? It's 0.6. And the number of successes that we want in this case, we want 3 people to lose weight. Hit enter. 0.2765. When rounded to four places, so 0.2765, which is equivalent to 27.65%. And if you needed to interpret that, you would say the probability that three people lose weight is 27.65%. And part B now requires you to deal with the at least, at most, less than, more than concept. Um, if you have six people taking this supplement, the words at least four represent four or five or six people. So what we're going to have to do in this part is sum up three different probabilities. The number of trials is going to be the same as before. Six people are taking this supplement. P, the probability of success on a single trial, is the same as before, because if one person takes the supplement, the chance of them losing weight is 3 over 5 or 0.6.
The number of successes changes when you have the words at least four. The number of successes is not exactly four because that's not what the problem says. It's at least four. So we include three levels of success, three values of success, four, five, and six because there are a total of six and we want at least four to lose weight. So we're going to go to the calculator now with these values. Binome PDF, second DISTR. You can either scroll down to A, or a quick way to get there is to do alpha A. Binome PDF. You're going to add up three probabilities. The first one, the probability of a person of, of exactly four people losing weight, that's 6 comma 0.6 comma 4, plus binome PDF, the probability of five people losing weight, 6 comma 0.6 comma 5, close parentheses, plus binome PDF, the probability of six people losing weight. Okay, so we're adding up three probabilities, four, five, and six successes. Okay, this is 0.5443 when rounded to four places, or 54.43%. So we have 0.5443, which equals 54.43%. Interpreted I meant to say equals here. Interpreted, that we can say that the probability that at least four people lose weight is 54.43%. Now the calculator offers a different way to do this problem, a different approach. There's another function on this calculator that accumulates probabilities for you so you don't have to add them up yourself. And it's called binome CDF. It stands for binomial cumulative distribution function. What binome CDF does for you is it accumulates probabilities from zero through some number. For an S, a success of zero through some other number. So, and you specify that number. So for example, second DISTR, Binome CDF is right below binome PDF, so it's at letter B on the TI-84. Binome CDF. If we put in 6, 0.6, 2, for example, what this is going to do for us is accumulate the probabilities for a success of 0, 1 and 2 and add them up for us. This problem is basically answering the question, what's the probability the, that at, at most two of you lose weight? It's accumulating the probabilities of success for 0, 1, and 2. And that's 0 0.1792. 17.92% will be the probability that at most two people lose weight. In the answer, in the problem that we're trying to solve here, at least four people lose weight. Um, we don't have at most; we have at least. So, if we put binome CDF six comma point six comma four, let's do that real quick. Second DISTR. Second B is binome CDF six comma point six comma four. Okay, we are incorrectly accumulating the probabilities for a success of 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 based on this last parameter here, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and they're getting added up by the calculator. That's not what we want. We want them to accumulate the probabilities 4, 5, and 6. That's what at least 4 means. So in order to do that, you have to change things around with the binome CDF function. You have to note that at least four has the complement event at most three. So that when you add up at least the probability of at least four 
to the probability of at most 3, the two probabilities will sum up to 100%. So to do this problem, you can take 1, or 100%, and subtract binom CDF 6, 0.6, 3. This is at most 3. So we're taking 100% minus at most 3, and the answer that we get is equivalent to at least 4. 0.5443, which is what we got before. So when you do a problem involving an at least question, or uh, a question like more than, where you have to accumulate probabilities above some number, you're going to have to subtract from one binome CDF, or you can easily more, I think it's a little bit more straightforward for most students to accumulate probabilities manually by adding them up with binome PDF. So going back to that, you can always backtrack on your calculator. Let's go back to where we inputted three. There it is. The accumulation of uh, three different binome PDFs uh, adding them all up is equivalent to doing 1 minus binome CDF 6 comma 0.63. I think most students prefer this first example of accumulating the probabilities on their own, but you do have your choice of doing it either way. I hope this helps and see you next time.